paint it and then we're gonna install it on this one video. So I'm gonna pull this out real quick to verify that this is in fact a Corvette C8 engine cover. And this one, as you see, is all black. Um, we're gonna clean it up a little bit because we're gonna keep this as it is and then we're gonna prime this and paint it. I'll wait till we get to the actual painting before I let you know what color we're painting it. But we're done with the inboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped. I've got some frog tape that I'm gonna try to put along here and cut out along the edges along with the Corvette emblem to tape this up and then paint everything around it. Because I've seen some where this is painted the same color of the car, but I would like for this to be black and then have everything else be the color that I'm going to paint this. I might have just given it away, I'm not sure, but stay tuned, we'll be back. So here's what we got. I think I did a pretty good job of prepping this. I basically just put down the frog tape and then just carefully cut around the outline of the stainless steel piece that I want to uh, keep original and not paint over it. Um, so yeah, so I'm happy with how this turned out. Now it's time to put on the adhesion promoter. So basically what it says to do is to put on one coat, let it sit for five minutes, and then follow up with a full coat, it says a full wet coat, and let it set for 15 minutes, but no longer than 30 minutes, and then put a top coat on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the first coat and the second coat, and then come back right when we're about to put on the top coat for this. Stay tuned, should be fun. Changed my mind, decided to show you the first coat going on, and then once I'm done with the first coat, then I'll do the second coat and then come back when it's time to put on the base coat. So let's see how we do with this. I actually thought this was like a primer, but apparently it's not. It's just a, you know, like something that goes on clear that I guess is going to help the paint stick better. So, you know, I'm learning as I go with this. Got some high spots here. I'm going to go ahead and just rub those out with my finger. I figure those will probably smooth out once this dries, but um, we're going to give this five minutes and we're going to come back. Stay tuned. So we are back and we're about to put on the first coat here. And just checking a couple of little things here. So it should be no surprise to anyone that I am painting it rapid blue. We have a local company here where they were able to mix up this can of paint for me for, I believe it was $40. I just gave them the paint code and they were able to make a can of rapid blue paint on the spot with the clear coat already added into the paint. So I am no expert painter, but we're going to give this a shot. So far, so good. 
So I'm gonna put on one little light coat here. Try not to make any puddles or anything. So far, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna hit this little area right here a little bit. And I think at this point, I'm gonna stop, let this sit for about 20 minutes, and then come back and hit it some more. You know, I figure, you know, a couple of light coats carefully is better than one really, really thick coat. I could be wrong, but we're gonna see. Stay tuned. All right, um, coat, I don't know if this is the second coat or coat 1.5, but let's do it. A little uneven to me. I'm hoping it'll like, you know, level off some after it gets dry. But we got plenty of paint left, so we're going to keep at it. And see how this turns out. I mean, once it's on the card, we'll be underneath the glass. Of the cover so I don't know I actually thought it would be shinier than it is looking right now but you know it very well could be the lighting inside of my garage so we're gonna give this about maybe 20 minutes or so and then we're gonna come back see what we got to do Okay, so it is looking better, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably would have been able to get a better result just using a coat of primer. I thought that that adhesion was more or less like a primer, and it was not. Uh, and it was quite expensive, but I said I wanted to do this right, but I think if I had just used some primer, I would have been okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting coats until I run out of paint and once we're done we'll come back and show you what it's looking like I mean it doesn't look bad but I think I wasted quite a bit of paint instead of using a primer but stay tuned we'll be back so here we are again so after it sat overnight I think this looks pretty good I think it came out good uh, is it perfect no. Do I have the skill level of painting to have made it perfect in the first place? Not really. But all in all, this looks really good. I mean, you'd have to be a nitpicker to really see some of the things I don't like. 
and of course I'm not going to tell you since you can't see them but all in all I'm happy with the results let's see how tricky or easy this will be I know with the convertible it's a little bit trickier putting on an engine cover but we're about to see how it goes I can't wait First thing you've got to do, here's a couple of things that are mounted to the engine that you have to take a loose. So we're going to do that real quick. Everything should be 10 millimeters, which it looks like they are. So that's not a big deal. I don't know if I have to take that off or not. Let me see here. You know, looking at the, the unit, I actually don't have to take this piece off. Because there's a cutout for it. So we're going to put that back on, but there is a piece down here that you got to take off. Let's do that real quick. And then there's another one on the other side. Like I said, they are 10 millimeters. These are actually where the cover is going to mount on so you'll just replace these back once you get the cover on and these are actually pretty long I don't know if that's showing up on camera but definitely don't want to lose or drop these around to this side and there's another one over here so then you just push these off to the side once you get this so it looks like it's like a fuel rail I don't know what it is but it's something you don't want to really toss around and damage so you want to be gentle with it so now let me go get the cover and I'm really hoping this doesn't become an all day project here, but let's see if we can slide it in. Now, most people are saying start at the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. That does seem to work a little better. making progress can't tell if it's hitting on anything but we're gonna take our time
Okay, this hose looks like it's going to be in the way. So I don't know how easy this will pop out of here. Well, that looks like it's not going to come out easy. So we may have to cut this piece off. So let me go grab something to cut that with and I'll be right back. What I'm cutting is a little black tie around this cooling hose. Of course, since it's a cooling hose, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally nip the hose. So we're good to go there. Then I'm going to lift this up out of the way, I hope. Let's see. I think we're getting there. Almost in, guys and gals. See how we're looking on the other side here. too bad that will be fine I'm probably gonna get a twisty tie and put around there but I think we're good so there you have it we went from the unboxing to the painting to the install it's not a hard job it's um a little tricky I'm sure when you guys saw me working back here around this hose and these other things you got to be careful not to yank anything to just be gentle with everything um, you can get the other two bolts because on a convertible it only comes with two bolts um, but you can get the other ones those are stainless steel that I bought from Lowe's that were like a dollar and something I'll put in the description exactly what the sizing of them is but all in all I'm liking this so if you like what we're doing on the channel course please subscribe it helps the channel we've got a lot of things going on i uh, got a lot of videos up so hopefully you know we're getting better with the videos as we go along but we'll catch you next time